But first, condoms. They've been around longer than you might guess. The Romans were using them almost 2,000 years ago. Only then they were made out of dried up animal intestines. Thankfully, these days they're mainly made from latex, a naturally occurring rubber. This condom factory keeps it here in these silos. They use ammonia to stabilize it. It has a notoriously unpleasant odor. Fortunately, it's not present in the finished product. A thousand glass molds go round on an endless loop. They've just been washed and are about to be dipped into the latex. They're continuously turned to make sure they're covered evenly. Although they might look the part already, the material is actually thinner than a human hair. And after a quick dry, you can hardly see them. So the molds go in for the second dip. The thickness and quality of the latex is constantly checked. After all, they've got a very important job to do. Now that the right thickness, it's on to the next stage. This spinning brush rolls down the tops of the condoms to give them a rim. Next, they're passed through a drying tunnel. The drying process makes them more elastic, so they can be stretched further without breaking. Nothing like a cold bath to cool things down. 80,000 condoms per hour are removed from the molds by water jet. The slimy mass is washed for 60 minutes. For obvious reasons, they have to be completely sterile. In the meantime, a sample from the batch has gone off for testing. They get pushed to their limits to see if they'll make it out in the field. No matter what color they are, all condoms must be able to take 18 liters of air before they explode. These manage between 35 and 40. So the whole batch is deemed okay. Every single condom has to be checked for leaks. The metal rings conduct electricity. If the condoms are airtight when they're dipped into the water, the electricity will stay inside. This monitor can tell if any gets out. Even the smallest hole is detected straight away. Once they've passed, they're off for packaging. They're brushed with silicon oil and rolled up. Next they get wrapped in their familiar foil pouches and then they'll be sent to chemists and barber shops across the world. They may be small and simple, but using them is definitely big and clever. They'll help to prevent unwanted pregnancies 
and reduce the spread of sexually transmitted diseases.